This is the second video in a 30-part series giving an ecological overview of the insect orders. In my last video, I gave a general overview of silverfish. However, I made the mistake of lumping them in with bristletails as though they were the same insect. The term bristletails has been used to describe both the orders Archaeognatha and Zygontoma due to their three tail-like appendages. However, it's more accurate to reserve bristletails for Archaeognatha and to refer to Zygontoma as silverfish or firebrats. Although these orders fill a similar niche, they have several key and important differences. I'll explain what those are before diving into the ecology of bristletails. The first key difference is diet. Bristletails are more herbivorous and detritivorous. Silverfish typically consume starchy materials, which is why they invade caves and homes. Generally, bristletails consume decaying plant matter and fungi, algae, mosses, and lichen. And although there's some overlap between the two, both have their specializations. The second key factor is environment. Because their diets are different, bristletails prefer the outdoors and the dark hidden places of the forest floor. Both insects are nocturnal, but silverfish prefer places where it's dark all the time, where they can passively live as a hermit. The third key difference are their senses and morphology. Because of the differences in their activity, bristletails have a few key morphological differences. Both insects have the same general body plan, but bristletails have a more vertically inclined body, which allows them to jump about 10 times their body length. Their cerci are shorter than those of silverfish because they are designed to assist in giving them balance to assist their jumps. In addition, bristletails have larger and more complex eyes than silverfish. This is because they spend their time in low light environments with more predators and more complicated terrain. These eyes help make up for the other morphological differences that separate bristletails and silverfish. In the evolutionary timeline, bristletails actually predate silverfish something I may have implied the opposite of in the previous video, and I'm correcting here. Now, moving on to the general overview. As stated before, the order name of this animal is Archaeognathum, which comes from the Greek archaeos, meaning ancient or primitive, and gnathos, meaning jaw. It's easy to see why their name means ancient jaw. As you can see, they're monocondylic mandibles. And also, because I missed it in the last video, the order name for silverfish is Zygontoma, which comes from the Greek zygos, meaning yoked, joined, or bridge, and entoma, meaning insects. They are called bridged insects because they were thought to be the missing link between winged and non-winged insects, which has since been found not to be the case. To elaborate on the point made in the previous video, which was that silverfish have survived for such an extended period of time due to their specific eating habits and long game strategy, which is still very much the case, but now we elucidate how bristletails further engage with this niche and do so in their own way. Bristletails consume decaying plant matter, as detritivores, and are typically more actively herbivorous than silverfish. They are more agile and are able to jump by thrusting their abdominal muscles against the ground. Their eyes are more advanced, and thus they see better and are often much more active as they prefer warmer environments. Silverfish are like hermits that live in damp caves or homes, whereas bristletails are like elusive forest nymphs that prefer to wander and get up to mischief. They basically do the same thing silverfish do, only they are adapted towards a more wild, active approach. This is why silverfish are far more common in homes, although both species can be found there. The key difference is that silverfish prefer darker, more humid and damp places with starchy foods, and bristletails prefer warmer, drier locations where they can warm their cold blood and get active. But they both have the same general life strategy of hidden, sneaky, passive detritivores. 
to elaborate on the point made in the last video. These insects are ancient, even more ancient than silverfish. And the point made was that the food these animals consume has been the key to their longevity. However, there's something important to take into account when comparing silverfish and bristletails. Bristletails are more common than silverfish, although it might seem the opposite due to how much silverfish invade homes. Silverfish exist where bristletails don't, on the pure basis that they're less agile and more vulnerable to predators. What this means is that the point I made in the last video is still true, but much more true for bristletails than for silverfish. Thanks for watching this episode of Privileged Bug Facts. Stay tuned for more bug content.